Hello siblings and welcome back to my video. Today I kind of wanted to get a little bit more serious and be able to talk to you guys about some things that we all struggle with. I want to talk a little bit about like mental illness, confidence, insecurities, all of the above because we're all struggling with it whether you want to admit it or not. We're all dealing with it. So let's just go ahead and get started talking about these deep Stuff. First, I think it's important to acknowledge that each and every one of you may feel like you're the only person who feels this way. We've all been there. We all feel it. It's just a part of life and that's kind of something you, that you need to come to terms with and that you're not alone. Like you ha There's always people that you can talk to about it, whether it's like a close friend or a family member. I promise everyone has been in that position and it may not be the exact same situation as you, but everyone has been through a time in their life when they just really felt like things were not going well for them. But first I want to kind of talk about like insecurities before I talk about like mental illnesses because they're definitely like hand in hand but on two different playing fields. So I want to talk to you guys about something that I'm actually really really excited because I have something that I can help you with and it is skin. I get questions all the time about how my skin is always so clear and how I like keep good skin even in like the winter and stuff and especially with the winter coming up you want that clear skin, you want your face to be just as it is in the summer but pale because it's winter and I know I'm crying too. But I have a product for you. It is one simple product and it's called Curology. And literally this little bottle has blessed my life. I've been using it for I think two months now. Literally, I don't wanna use any other like face product ever again because this is the best. And I'm not saying that like just because, like I'm not just saying this, like it is true. I don't sit here and promote things if I don't believe in them and I truly believe in this. Literally, when I when I get on my period, I break out so hard and with using Curology, I had barely anything. Like you couldn't even tell that I was on my period. And usually it's like, wow, you look gross. And I'm like, thanks. But with Curology, literally no problems. Here is a picture of my skin from whenever I first started using Curology, and then obviously this is what my skin looks like now. It's not absolutely perfect, but I have only been using it for like a month and a half, so it's definitely going to get better. It's super simple to like apply for and to apply on and everything. Let me just explain real quick. So basically, you go onto Curology.com, and there is a certified like dermatologist for each person, and they make your own prescription for your skin. You literally just take pictures of your skin, you answer a few questions about your skin and your background information and then they make a nice little bottle for you and it's like totally customized to your skin so mine is I don't know what any of these things actually mean and I don't know how to pronounce them so please don't judge me but mine's zinc pyrothione 25.25 percent slidemicin 1 percent and niacinamide 4% and everyone's is going to be completely different because it's totally tailored to your skin and you can sign up to get a bottle every month They just send it to you. It's that simple. I have my second bottle on its way right now And I'm very excited about that literally just squirt it onto your hand You wash your face at night you square on your hand and you just put it on your face And then you just go to sleep and then you wake up and it's magic and you're just like wow I mean obviously not overnight. It's gonna take a little bit but literally best thing ever to happen for my skin if you want to get your Curology bottle, look in the description down below, click that link, get started today. Literally so worth it. Like, Christmas is coming up. Ask for it for Christmas, okay? It's the best thing to ever happen to my skin, I swear to you. I don't, like, touch my skin. I'm just like, whatever, like, if I have acne, I have acne. But I hate it, and this thing has helped me to not even have to deal with it. I don't even have to think about it. That's the last thing on my mind. Get your Curology today. Oh. I love you, beautiful little bottle. Also, if you click the link in the description, your first bottle is free. You just have to pay $4.95 and shipping plus handling. Literally customized for your skin right to your doorstep. You're missing out if you do not sign up right now. But especially when I'm on my period and going into winter, like every time the seasons change, I get acne and this has helped prevent it. Like I'm not even kidding you. And every time I have had a little something pop up, when I use Curology, it just goes away, like it's gone. If you have insecurities about acne, or if you just need something in your life to help you, especially with winter, like I cannot express, I hate winter and the fact that my skin gets so bad. 
you literally need to get Curology because it'll help you so much. And this is an insecurity that you can actually do something about. Like you can get rid of it and you don't even have to worry about it anymore simply by using Curology. Insecurities, we all have them. Even those people that you may not think have them at all, they definitely have them. Being in the like social media industry, it's so weird because I will meet people who are absolutely gorgeous. They're like Instagram models, literally those girls that you see when you're like scrolling through on your phone and you're like, oh my gosh, I wish I could be like them. And I get to know them and they have just as many insecurities as I do. And I kind of want to be quick with this video, so if I get to the point really fast, I'm sorry. But you need to stop comparing yourself to people on social media, people around you, your friends, your family. You are the only you, and you cannot compare your body or the way you act to other people because we all are different and we're all made to be different we're not supposed to look the same like that would be so boring you can't sit here and compare let's just start with your body you can't sit here and compare your body to other people for so many reasons like we all have different bone structures to start with and i'm 5'1 like i was not built to like be tall and lean i that's just not my body type and i know that and i can't sit here and compare myself to these girls who are like five seven to six foot and being like oh my gosh like they're so like skinny and lean i wish i could be like that because i can't i'm short okay that's just the way that i'm always going to be i can like work out and make myself look lean but i will never have super long legs or anything like that and I feel like that is like the biggest advice I can give is you need to come to terms with the way that your body is and love it for the way that it is. It takes a lot of time, like trust me, I have struggled with this pretty much my whole life as well and even now, like I work out every day, I eat healthy, I'm seeing my body go from like how I like hated it to something that I really really want it to be like and yet I still like compare it to others and I'm like oh my gosh like I hate this about my body or I hate this about my body but literally my body is not their body and my body will never be their body even when I'm in my best shape it will never look exactly like someone else's so I can't sit here and compare myself to someone else's. It doesn't matter if you're short, you're tall, you're a little skinny, you're thick, it literally does not matter. I have friends of all body types and I don't sit here and compare my body to theirs because it is completely different. I hope that makes sense. Like your body will never look like someone else's so you really need to stop comparing it to others. Plus, everyone is like going off of these beauty standards that like social media has put out there for us or whatever. Who freaking cares? And yeah, there's gonna be people that make fun of you. They're just trash people, like literally. If you are the type of person to sit there and judge someone, especially based on their body, that it, you're just a trash person. Like, I'm sorry, it's just the truth. Just love yourself because that's all there really is to it. And I know it sounds so like, you're probably sitting here and you're like, Sydney, I can't just wake up one day and be like, oh, I love myself. It definitely takes time. Uh, loving your body, loving yourself, loving your skin, loving just every loving everything about yourself is a process. It takes time and just like so I'm really into fitness right now and I'm always like fitness is a lifestyle change. I can't just go to the gym for a month and then hope to see results. Like I literally need to start eating healthy. I mean I do. I've started eating healthy. I go to the gym every day. It's a commitment. That's the same thing about loving yourself. You can't just do it a few days here and there, give yourself a few compliments and hope everything's okay. You have to be committed and ready to change your whole mindset. Like coming from a someone, me, who has dealt with some really bad mindset situations. Literally, I don't know if you guys remember, but last year, around this time, I like quit YouTube. I was like so over it. I didn't even know if I ever wanted to come back. I told you guys I would, but I literally didn't even know if I wanted to because I was so insecure at the time. I really did not like myself. My mindset was not where it needed to be. I was so negative all the time. And then I just decided, I was like, hey, what am I doing? Like, this is not the way I want to live my life. I've always talked about positivity and loving yourself, and here I was, literally hating myself. So I just decided to have a mindset change. Every day when I woke up, I literally just smiled, and that helped me be more positive. Um, I actually started to like try to help other people. By serving other people, I ended up like being happier and loving myself more. I tried to look for positives in everyone around me instead of just picking something and comparing myself to whatever they have of their self. There's like so many different things that you can do to help 
get into the right mindset which I mean it, it took me months like literally to be able to get back where I needed to be to be able to even like make videos as often as I do so something else I kind of wanted to encourage everyone to do is it goes along with comparing yourself because honestly I feel like that's the root of all insecurities like yeah you have insecurities but you literally worsen them by comparing them to other people's like perfections pictures that you see on Instagram is everyone's best moments it's when they know they look the best their body looks the best in that angle their hair looks the best in that lighting their eyes are just shining and they just look beautiful and you're like oh my gosh and you're looking at yourself in the mirror when you're laying in bed and you you just took off all your makeup and you kind of got raccoon eyes and your hair is all tangly and you're like wow i hate myself yeah no duh that person just spent hours getting ready and making sure that picture was perfect editing it etc and you're looking at yourself in the mirror when you haven't even tried at all so you can't compare that like you can't compare the worst of you to the best of them take a break from social media even if it's just 24 hours just don't get on and even if it's just one social media i would suggest don't get on instagram because instagram is the root of evil for comparing yourself i swear to you you get on that explore page and you see all those bikini girls and you're like oh my gosh i'm so fat and you're really not so you need to stop okay. and a lot of you guys are just saying like depression anxiety mental health and girl i feel you or boy i get i sometimes forget i have boys who watch my videos because i swear they're all girls like hmu if you're a boy not hmu but like like i want to know like how many boys actually watch my videos like hey welcome okay anyway that was so off topic i'm trying to keep this like lighthearted because i don't want to be all like <gasps> Oh my gosh you know like that's just i'm just not really that type of person last year i kind of already mentioned it but i was so done with everything i was so mad at my friends all the time because i felt like they were constantly leaving me out i felt like everyone on the internet was hating on me very stressful i didn't want to do it my videos were getting worse and worse my mental health was just going right down the hill I swear every friend that I became friends with wasn't actually my friend and like I just thought just literally I thought everyone was out to get me everyone hated me I would lock myself in my room and I would not come out turn off the lights I would literally just sit in here maybe watch some Netflix I was just not down for anything and I'm not even kidding you I would cry myself to sleep every night for like probably two three months this went on like literally crying myself to sleep every night and then whenever i went out in front of people i'd be like hi yeah like still me like what's up wanna hang and but really i hated myself and i think a lot of people are in that position right now i've been there i've done that and i'm over it <laughs> like during that time i had a really 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 bad anxiety and it was all because i put myself in like a terrible mindset because i let bad bad things that were happening to me overcome my life i let anxiety and depression like just sneak in and then I let them stay and I didn't kick them out and I just let that rule my life my advice to you guys is I know that like if you're clinically like depressed or like you have anxiety I know that you can't just be like okay I'm done I'm over it bye like no more depressed Sid like that type of thing but you can like not let it overcome your life you don't have to give it control you don't have to feed it and i know for some people that is really 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 hard there's really like the only person who can help you through it is kind of like yourself because you ultimately are the one who decides to be happy at the end of the day and you can feed your depression and your anxiety and you can let it take over your life or you can stand up against it because they're bullies and you can say suck it and get out of here and honestly like i just decided one day i was like i am sick and tired of this i was honestly to the point where i was like i kind of like crying like it's kind of fun like i can't wait to go in bed and just cry tonight about how much i hate myself you know but <laughs> relatable it's like my pants by the way i love okay <laughs> see this is me because i hate talking about that. like this is my least favorite thing to talk about but i figured that people can relate and want to hear about it so i'm here and i'm talking about it i just decided that i was done and i wanted to be happy and even though everything literally everything in my life i felt like was just out to get me it was not going well like, everything was just a giant huge flop and it was cold outside i swear i get really really bad season seasonal depression and so when it gets cold outside your girl's done being happy i'm not gonna let that happen this year the video is a hard representation of my life i don't even know what i just said um you know i feel like i promote this a lot but ultimately 
you have control over your mind, not your depression, not your anxieties, not your friends, not your family, no one but yourself has control over your mind. It's literally whatever you want. You are the only you, okay? And I know that sounds cliche, but it to it's totally true. Like you're the only you in the universe and you can literally become whoever you wanna be. You can do whatever you wanna be. You just have to control it, okay? You have to control your mental illnesses. You have to control all your insecurities. You have to, okay, you just gotta overcome it and let that positivity just shine through. Like, just let it go, just be you and do not care what other people think. And I know that's a really, really hard thing, especially being in like high school. That is like the worst environment ever, but just be yourself because ultimately you're gonna be happy the more you are yourself. And that's kind of like the only advice that I can give is being yourself and just having like having control of your mind. Start today, like don't procrastinate loving yourself tomorrow. Okay, you're starting today. You're right after you watch this video, you're gonna get up, you're gonna walk in that mirror, and you're gonna point out everything you like about yourself. And you're not gonna you're literally not even gonna look at your flaws. You're gonna look right past them. You don't have any anyway, but you're gonna look right past them and you're just gonna look at everything you love about yourself, you're gonna write down, and then you're gonna tell yourself that you're amazing and that you love yourself and that you're beautiful and perfect the way you are and then you're gonna say screw it to everyone else who thinks otherwise and you're just gonna have a great life thank you for coming to cine therapy um thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye okay what was that